Hello and welcome to the video for what is interpolation C interp. I'm going to go ahead and start off this video in a more explanative fashion. Let me go ahead and run this. When I click the button, after one second, it interpolates from white to red, but I'm doing it in a fashion where you're not really seeing the benefit. But for our purpose, it's going to help us explain further how interpolate works. So the C interp node is like the other interp nodes. You have the current and the target values. You have a delta time and you have an interp speed. Now, instead of using a tick or construct for this one, what I'm doing is I'm using a timer to call it every X amount of seconds in order for it to then call the interp. So for example here, I have a one second delay on my timer. And then after that one second, it calls by interp. It changes it from our current color, which by default is white, to our target color, which is red. Now here's the thing. I'm telling you that a delta time of one and an interpolation speed of one. Because these values are one and one, what that's doing is it's telling it to immediately go to the target. Because our delta is supposed to be between zero and one, and since it's one, we are now going directly to the target. So what happens if we change this? Let's say we change our delta time to 0.5 and we go ahead and run this. What you're going to see is every second it's going to step halfway to red. Now it's not two steps. Keep in mind it's halfway between the current color and the destination color. So if you had a line here, for example, let's say this is 0 and 1. At the halfway point, it would be right here. So it's half red and half white. But now the next time we run it, this is our start point and this is our destination, which means our half point is going to be here. So that way, if you watch this, you'll notice it'll change to a lighter pink and it'll slowly change towards that darker red because it's taking a half step every single time towards its target. So that's how you can see how the delta time works. So if you wanted something to go slower, obviously you have a slower delta time. We'll go ahead and run this and you'll notice it's now going to slowly turn red because keep in mind I'm doing my timer every second. If I was to increase my timer speed, it would make this go faster. If I was to increase my delta time to a higher number, it would go faster. And then here's the correlation between the interp speed and the delta time. The interp speed is basically a multiplier against the delta. So for example, if I change this to 0.5 with an interp speed of 2, this is actually going to make it a one and it's going to immediately change. See? So that's how you can see the correlation there. So that's why when you adjust your interpolation speed, it changes how fast it's going to change colors because you're increasing your delta time basically. So for example here, let's say we want this to go up slowly. Let's, let's do something like this. We could take a float and we'll do this time. We'll change this into a float. We'll save it. We'll set this to point one. I'll go ahead and slap this into here and then I'll slap this into my delta time. Let's make it a one and we'll go ahead and run this. And you'll notice now it's going to convert over to red. And that's it. That is how our C interp node works. It goes from our current to our goal using our delta time. You do not have to use the actual tick delta time. Delta time is basically, you know, between zero and one, how much is it going to jump between the base, the current, and the target color, and the interp speed, of course, being a multiplicator of the delta time. So you notice it's twice as fast with a two, three is gonna be three times as fast, five would be five times as fast, and there you go. So obviously, you know, if we want this to go even smoother, maybe we'll change this to like 0 0.05, and we'll watch this thing go completely batshit nuts. And there you go, you saw a fairly smooth transition. And that's how you can use the C interp. It's a great way, for example, let's say you wanted to have a health bar and you wanted it to smoothly go from red at the max to green, uh, sorry, green would probably be more appropriate for full health bar and red for an empty health bar. You can use the C interp every time you got hit and you can change it, the delta based on what percentage you got hurt. And you can actually watch it go down and up in real time, depending on which interp speed you use. So that's it. That is our C interp node. If hopefully it also helped you understand how the interpolation itself works in a visual form. If you have any questions or comments, please feel free to leave them below.